What's going on guys, GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about Home Depot application for jailbreaking and we're going to discuss about the update it has received yesterday. So Home Depot is actually a jailbreak for iOS 9.1 to 9.3.4 for 32-bit devices and we discussed about this uh, jailbreak a couple of times in my previous videos but yesterday it got two important updates and they're very important because they actually bring more stability and more device support. So um, if you go ahead and here on Twitter, on the creator of this jailbreak, it says on uh, March 21, release Home Depot release candidate 1 or RC1 available at wall.supplies. This is actually the official link of this jailbreak and you can read the change log. So the change log is available in here. This is what changed in this version and um, the most important thing inside this changelog is the fact that it's now supporting all devices being on 32-bit that can range from iOS 9.1 to 9.3.4. In the previous version, uh, it only supported a couple of versions of iOS depending on the device. For example, for a couple of iPhone uh, 5 models, depending on the iOS version, you required some additional offsets that you needed to, um, to put them manually inside the application and they weren't supported out outside the box. So you needed to, to actually manually configure and manually find those inside the kernel. But now, apparently using this update, the RC1 or release candidate 1, your device will be supported out of the box if it's uh, ranging between iOS 9.1 to 9.3.4. So this is actually pretty damn good. Then it says in here that it fixes an issue where the volume slider in the mixtape player, because yes, this also contains a mixtape player with, of course, some, um, some songs. You can check them out and uh, it fixes some um, some problems inside the application. The rest of the things are not very important, just minor fixes or um, minor bonus tracks to the, uh, to the mixtape player and so on. But the most important thing is the support for every 32-bit device on iOS 9.1 to 9.3.4. But keep in mind it says in here, sorry, if you're on a beta iOS 9.x, you need a, an internet connection. But I think it's self-explanatory and it's improved reliability on iPod Touch 5. And now the iPod Touch uh, fifth generation was actually one of the devices not very supported by this um, Home Depot jailbreak and now it's apparently fixed. So if you're on iOS 9.1 to 9.3.4 being at 9.1, 9.3.3, 9.3, 9.2.1, 9.2, and so on, you can go ahead and jailbreak using this newest version and you will be uh, better off because it's more stable, of course. But uh, what about the iOS 9.3.5? Well, this uh, Home Depot jailbreak is not going to support iOS 9.3.5 ever. But keep in mind that at the end of this month, we're going to see the fried Apple Teams jailbreak that is going to be untethered and is going to be for iOS 9.3.5. Remember, it was scheduled to, to actually be presented at Black Hat, which is at the end of this March. So uh, I'm going to keep you updated on that as well. But for the moment, if you're on iOS 9.1 to 9.3.4 on a 32-bit device, this uh, update is going to bring more stability to your jailbreak. And also, if your device wasn't supported previously by Home Depot, is now supported as uh, it says in here that any iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch on 32-bit is supported right now. So um, keep that in mind. You can actually download the RC2, the release candidate 2, because the RC1 probably had a bug and they released the RC2 immediately to fix Cydia issues. So keep that in mind. Do not forget to, uh, to subscribe to stay updated. Download the uh, Home Depot jailbreak from the description down below. And you can sideload it, of course, with CDI Impactor. I'm not going to show you that because you already know how to use CDI Impactor. And I think everybody knows how to do that by now. It comes as an IPA, so it's pretty simple to use, exactly like Yaloo. And um, yeah, definitely you should try it. If you're using the uh, older version, you should definitely try the uh, the newest version as it is improved and it would work better. Again, subscribe to stay updated on anything that happens in the jailbreak community. I'm going to keep you updated. Check out the videos in the description down below and peace out.